Hey guys, Brad coming at you here, which sadly is not after a Dolphin victory. Unfortunately, it was our annual pounding by the Buffalo Bills and our daddy, Josh Allen. I hate that team so much. I hate Josh Allen so much. But, uh, yeah, I was even telling everybody at work, they were like, oh, you like the Dolphins' chances this week? I'm like, nope. I was like, nothing's really hardly changed. The teams are very similar. Why do we think we're going to beat the Bills all of a sudden? And yeah. Now it snowballed, similar to the week before, where it snowballed on the Broncos. It kind of snowballed on us. That wasn't really a 28-point game. But yeah. It started off 14-14. Both teams ran down, scored easily. Then it's like once the Bills got a stop, that was where all the momentum shifted, you know. Once they got the one stop, then it was like it was over. But you know how he said that Kander Coe, who's been our best corner the last year and a half? Worst game of his career on Sunday. <laughs> he was getting torched all the time. Poor guy by just Stephon Diggs. I don't even know what our defensive game plan was, to be honest with you. That's my one complaint. We all had hope Vic Fangio would come in. Now, I didn't expect it to click right away, but I don't even see an identity of what we're trying to accomplish on defense, like what kind of defense we want to be. I can't figure it out. I don't even know what we're trying to accomplish. So I always say that's when you know you're in trouble, whether it's offense or defense. When you watch your team, you're like, what are they even trying to do? <laughs> you know, no identity on the defensive side of the ball. So that better change here in the next four weeks. So, but all in all, three and one start. You'll take that every year, all the time. I'm not reading that much into this game. The Bills always kick our butts. They always beat us. There's very few teams that can match up the way they do with us to where, you know, I don't think it's like panic mode because you're not facing that team every week. You know, There's only a handful of teams that could even remotely do that to us. So. But whatever, you know, I didn't think a whole lot of it. Was not surprised. Um, the Houston Texans. How about the Houston Texans? Putting a beating on the Steelers. C.J. Stroud, I believe, still hasn't thrown a pick. And being that his best offensive linemen have been out this entire time, pretty impressive. Usually, you know, you get pressure, quarterback folds. He has not done that. So we, But we even talked when we did our preview show how they signed a bunch of veterans and we loved the D'Amico Ryans hire. And, you know, maybe they'd surprise and be better than we thought. Well, so far, so good. We'll see how long they can last. But, uh, yeah, the Houston Texans, they stood out in week four. But, uh, yeah, uh, what else stood out? really spoke to me. The Bengals are just a freaking mess. Uh, they've used up all their leeway now at one and three, so they better get their crap together here soon. I think they play the Cardinals, who's a scrappy bunch, by the way. They stood into that 49ers game until the fourth quarter, and then 49ers pulled away, which they seem like a buzzsaw right now. Christian McCaffrey playing the best of his career, and that's saying something. Um, yeah. 49ers uh, looking pretty scary. Um, Cowboys, after the hiccup, 49ers dominate the Patriots. Um, Patriots lose Judon and Christian Gonzalez for a lengthy period of time, it sounds like. They're borderline done, I would say. Um, what else stood out? Uh, Desmond Ritter still stinks. Uh, the Bears at least got one good half of play in to give them some hope. And then the second half started and, well, you know. Um, but, yeah. There you go. And you know who one of the most boring teams to watch is? The New Orleans Saints. Every time I turn on a New Orleans Saints game, I'm just like, uh, one of the most boring teams in the NFL to watch right now. You know, and they have a defense, which I like defense, but watching that offense puts you to sleep. 
But those are just a little few takeaways. Um, like I said, I thought I thought the Texans had the most impressive victory of the week. I was the most impressed with that. Um, update on Justin Herbert. I think he broke one of his fingers in his non-throwing hand. They have a bye week, I believe, this week. He is not expected to miss time. So that was a scary scene when that happened. Looks like he got away with it. So, and somehow, this was hilarious because Sunday morning, me and my dad were talking. He goes, because I was like, oh, yeah, they ate in O'Connell starting for the Raiders, right? And he goes, oh, that's bad news if Bosa and Mack are playing. And I was like, Khalil Mack hasn't done squat for a couple of years now. And I was like, and he's like one of the worst graded. He has like almost a zero pass rush win rate all season. He has zero sacks. <laughs> I was like, that guy's stuck. You know, he's like, he's, I'm like, he's more just a name than anything, right? And then I was like, oh, watch, he'll get four sacks now that I said that. Well, he got six. Half of them. Aiden O'Connor literally just gave to him, but still, six sacks, six sacks. But I just found that hilarious. After we make fun of him, six sacks. So there was a little side story. I've got two pickups for the Dolphins PC. This is a nice one. 2021 Contenders Optic. This is the Green Pulsar. Rookie autograph of one of my favorites. Javon Holland. These are very pretty cards in person. You know, you get the sticker auto, but I feel like it fits the card okay. And then you get the shiny green pulsar. And plus, you're not getting on-card autos with defensive players like this, you know. But that was a beautiful rookie autograph. I was surprised when the guy took my offer, honestly. I thought I lowballed him a little bit. I thought for sure I'd get a counter. It wasn't like ridiculous, like, oh, automatic decline, but I thought for sure I'd get a counter. So this is numbered 13 of 30, which I always thought these were like 27. So, again, must have just been more printing starting in 2021, right? But there you go, 13 of 30. One of the few players on defense that shows up every week. You know the other defender that showed up every week, and it's about only been two? Andrew Van Ginkle. And Bradley Chubb, ugh. I told you I didn't love it when we traded for him because he's just he's just kind of there. Like, he's not a bad player, but he's not a difference maker. And I was like, I'd have rather spent that money on Roquan Smith because every time I watch a game with our linebackers, my head just wants to explode. And I'm like, ah, oh, I'd rather have Roquan Smith than Bradley Chubb. You know, so every time I just see that, I'm like, ah. You know, and it isn't like, like I said, it doesn't like Chubb's a bad player, but he's just not a difference maker typically. He's had one good game this season. The other three, you didn't even know he played, you know. But, yeah, that's a side note. Anyways, side tangents there. It's coming in my mind. Another one was an update. This came out of 22 encased, but it's from 21. It's the Legendary Signatures. Number 13 of 25, I believe this is the Sapphire Parallel Oh, Mr. Zach Thomas. So this is a sleek looking card. Kind of has a flawless feel to it. When you look at it, you get the foil action, you get the white card stock. There you go. Kind of has a flawless feel to it. Which is one of the knocks on Panini is too many of the cards look similar. Fair knock. But nonetheless, that is a pretty nice looking card. I don't care what he says. On card auto, it is a clean design. So your guys in this set, this is technically the 2021. I highly recommend uh, you checking that out. So yeah, two nice additions, two defensive players. So I guess I'm not an investor, huh? Wasn't any quarterbacks in this video. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Hope your teams perform better than mine. But we get the Giants this week. Uh, 
It almost scares me when a team's that bad the week before. You know what I mean? It's like, ugh. But the way our defense is played, we'll probably still have to score 30 to win. You know? But, uh, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks for watching. Love most of you. Bye-bye.